So I wanted to show you how the yarn looks before you take it apart. It looks gorgeous, beautiful. I'm getting ready here to start a project. The first thing you need to know is this yarn needs taken apart very carefully. So what I did, I didn't do my homework and I just jumped in and I just, I really had thought this was all one yarn piece, almost like a cake. I didn't do my research and I should have. So I want to show you what not to do. So as you can see, I'm trying to take apart the yarn. So there, it's each, each little hank is tied with a knot. So you'll want to cut that. Well, then that long piece is part of it. So you'll want to just cut that end off. And what you need to do is leave it in the circle and then wrap it. And when I say wrap it, I mean wind it. So you'll want to wind it. So this will prevent you from doing what I did, which is basically just, I ruined, I ruined the whole, the whole entire little pieces of the yarn. So they're all like little hanks of yarn. So, and you know, again, right here, I'm just trying to start a project and it turns into complete and total yarn bar. So I put my project aside and I'd like to show you how I'm gonna take this yarn apart. But first, I'm gonna show you the tags. And they say, one of these will make a hat. So there's beautiful colors. They have just beautiful colors. And each part makes a part of the hat. So, and it comes with the tags. Also, I will close up, show you what the yarn is made of. 60% acrylic, 20% nylon, and 20% merino wool. It's a number five bulky. And my opinion is it's a thin number five. It's not the bulkiest, but it, it I don't know. Just my opinion. So that is what we're dealing with. So let me show you up close. You'll want to have a pair of sharp scissors and you're going to cut and pull out the little hanks of yarn. So you're gonna wanna cut right there, very carefully. Once you cut it, you're going to wanna remove the hank very carefully, set the other aside, and deal with one at a time. That's my best advice. Take it and make a circle. Just make a circle and then you'll notice that it is also tied up. So you'll want to give that a snip or if you can untie it, untie it. I tried to untie it and I can't do it. So I'm gonna take my scissors and just give it a cut. Now this is part of the working yarn. So don't start pulling on this piece thinking it's just a loose piece of yarn that tied up the hank. Just cut it and then cut that little end off there. And then just put it aside, just lay it down with the rest. Just don't pull on it because it's gonna ruin everything. So just pull it apart. And then what I suggest next is getting a friend to help you and start winding up the yarn. Now I would suggest having a friend help you and hold the yarn open and then start wrapping it with your two fingers or if you have a chair back that fits this, use that or something else that you can put in the middle of it. So here I am with my little assistant and we are trying to wind the yarn and I'm starting with my fingers and I'm just winding it around. And at first it's going really well, but then it gets tangled somehow. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did, but I'm convinced if I'm going to use this yarn that I need a winder for my yarn. So, there are many to choose from, but um, I just know I can't do this. So 
Um, anyway, this is my honest review, and like I said, I really believe in my heart this is beautiful yarn. I'm just really disappointed that I'm not able to use it. So um, leave me a message if you have tried this yarn or if you have any tips. I would love to read them in the comments. So I hope this video has been helpful and thank you for watching and I will see you at the next video.